Hey all Simtothy1 here, and welcome back to our Persona for Golden Adventures. If you don't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Well, it's time to yep head up to our room and watch the Midnight Channel. See if anything stranger, freakier, abnormal compared to compared to the normal craziness happens. It's midnight. Fog has finally set in. Let's hope nothing uh nothing pops up, nothing untoward pops up. Phew, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, Nanako's rescue and we're able to arrest the culprit. Hopefully that's the end of things, because I mean we already thought we had the culprit once. If it turns out that this isn't the culprit as well, then jeez oh, then. I I don't know where we're gonna get our next clue as to who it's who it could be. It's probably not to watch the Midnight Channel anymore. Yeah, I'm sure. Fog is covering the town. No creepy cutscene of anyone though. That's that's a little bit of a relief. A relief. Is there still fog? Yeah, the fog from yesterday is still there this morning. Huh. That's not abnormal. Oh, there he is! Oh, Chie and Yukiko and Yosuke. Take a look at this. Namatame's in today's paper. Really? Namatame's regained consciousness. Today before dawn, the suspect Taro Namatame who has been confined in a local hospital regained consciousness. In response to police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done and was scared. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's depositions. So it's finally over. Knock on some wood, Yosuke. We've said that once before. Yeah. Seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. Yeah. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? It's so chilly. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, hi, Adachi. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. Really? So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. I know. Jeez. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about it. Yeah, what, what's he what's he currently being charged with, cuz? Two counts of kidnappings and murder and five counts of attempted murder. Those are serious crimes. I think it'll go down in history as one of the worst sprees in Japan. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. Huh. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. Oh. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. Huh. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well, I'm gonna <laughs> head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Thanks for the info, Adachi. Yosuke. Sorry. All right. Namatame's been caught. Can't hurt anyone now. Yeah. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Oh yeah, for sure. She'll probably be overjoyed. Let's tell the others once we get to school. Just a reminder, the finals are next week. <laughs> what? Already? Jeez! How's your studying going? Though you may be very busy with your per studies, make sure you keep up your personal grooming. Every year, some boys come stumbling into class with stubble on their chins. Of course, their five o'clock shadow is more a five-day shadow. Speaking of facial hair, some nations used to impose a tax on facial hair, huh? In 18th century Russia, he also had a hat tax, bath tax, laundry tax, chimney tax, and more to fund their military. 
Those sure were taxing times. <laughs> be sure to take this down. You never know what'll be on the test, just like you never know what'll be taxed next. That's interesting. I, I didn't know that. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. Hey, Nanako. Oh, yeah. D don't, don't, don't say too much. I'm glad she looks happy. Uh, how many times does this make it today? <laughs> I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. Ah, he's in a wheelchair. He's fine. Sorry. Um, are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. Peace. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Hmm. Big bro. What's up, Nanako? Yeah, do you need anything? Stay here. Of course, Nanako. Close your eyes with that relieved expression. Oh. Explanation concerning Annika's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. Hmm. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. Okay. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. Adachi, how's it going with Namatami? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. Hmm. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Oh, no, you don't. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. You need to sit your butt in that wheelchair or in bed and recover. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased. Huh. Which is quite unusual. Yeah, is it, is it poisonous? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. True, mind over matter. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is the transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Well, that's just ridiculous. Sh sure Anyone it is, Dojima. Says that is just blowing smoke. Sure it is. I mean, I guess we all know the truth. Monaco somehow regained consciousness. Take more time to fully recovers. Okay. Watch and wait to see how things. More waiting? No. But wait, does that mean the fog's sticking around? Yeah, it is. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. 
You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. <laughs> what? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before. So something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Jeez, one, they're gossiping like crazy, but two, they're talking about it being poisonous while they're standing in the fog. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? <laughs> This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Oh, jeez. Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Jeez. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. Huh? You... you can't be serious. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Jeez. They're all freaking out. Business has been so slow lately. Hmm. Well, before we head on upstairs, uh, just a heads up, let's see, where is it? Ah, yeah. Here it is. Basically, there's new uh, 2009 uh, song battle. That's a log, so make sure you tune into that uh, in your free time. But we're gonna head on back upstairs and do uh, do a little more reading. We got finals coming up soon, so we need to start. We need to start getting ready for that. But uh, this already kind of helps with that. I mean, kind of, not really, but it'll educate us. Just not about what our finals are gonna be about. But let's read this. The final lesson. Stories about a weak-willed milk coast of a teacher. Milk toast of a teacher who has had a hard time getting his students to learn. It's about the teacher's last lecture to his classes that year, and his students' eyes filled with tears, full of tender feelings. Finish the final lesson. Yeah, finish the entire boy teacher series. I feel a little empty inside. Oh, why all the sadness? Oh. Well, if you can't beat him, join him. Time to uh, listen to some more gossip. The weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's going to stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard that it's poisonous. Very toxic. And nobody even knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay at home for a while. <coughs> You're just being too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? Jeez, finals, yeah. It's... Ooh. Excuse me. It's seriously too cold now. Such a painful season if you got back pain. Ow! See? Speaking of back pain, there's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? 
He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. Man, it makes me hurt just looking at it. And atlases are also used in geography class. Do you know what they are? Well then, let's see. Ah, Sam Gun. You don't look like you know the answer. Uh, answer to what? Do you know what an atlas is? Oh, that's easy. It's a book of maps. You're very good. Yep, an atlas is a map of bo or <laughs> a map of books. <laughs> Jeez, pardon me. It's a book of maps. Mercator's book of maps featured a large picture of Atlas on the cover. Note the spelling. It's spelled A-T-L-A-S, okay? I mean, how else would you spell it? Well, there's always a- Ow! My back! Plus it ended. Yeah, please begin their question, but it's going to take a while. With no choice but to wait until the situation changes. Where is my... Ah, there he is. So we're going to be going ahead and accepting some quests uh, today. So, over here. My mother's always telling me that I should be studying more. She keeps bringing up this kid in elementary school and saying that I need to be like him. Isn't that crazy? What kind of super kid is he anyway? Oh, I know who you're talking about. I'd like to ask you for a special favor. Could you listen to me for a second? Sh sure, I'm all ears. That girl on the roof. What do you think she thinks of me? Well, there's nothing I can do but change myself. I already have a plan. You know, that girl said she wanted to be a vet, so I think that she'll need an animal guide. So, if I give one to her as a present, don't you think it'll score me some major points with her? But my problem is that I don't have the slightest clue of where to get something like that. Do you have any ideas? Boy, do I. I'll check the TV for you. Huh? You mean like an infomercial or something? You don't... Uh, what? Well, n never mind that. If you do think of a way to find one of those, could you bring it to me? Oh, a reward. Right, a reward. Sh sure, of course, there'll be something really special for you for a reward. Come on, just help me out here. It's a picture book that an old scholar or a magician would use. From a magician, like, on top of a cloud or something. Okay. I always give me hints what creature drops it. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's head on over to the practice building because... Uh, <laughs> we're going to the same girl that always gives us a, uh, a quest. There she is. The desk girl. Wow, it's almost December. <sighs> I know it's a long way away still, but I kind of dread this time of year. We always have these big family gatherings on Christmas, which means we have to make a lot of food. And then it's New Year, so there's even more preparing to do. Why me? All I want to do is go outside. Um, Sam Senpai, I'd like to ask another favor of you, but... Sure, what's up? Do you think you could find me a piece of classy lumber? See, I'm thinking about building a shelf. Something nice that you could display models on. I want to surprise my dad with it, but I, I can't seem to get a hold of any quality wood. I know it's a lot to ask, but Senpai, you're the only one I know who can do this. Sure, leave it to me. Oh, you're amazing, Senpai. I apologize for putting you out like this all the time. Please, all I need is a piece of classy lumber. Until next time, I'm sure. But yeah, I, I can get you that, I think. Now, let's see, there should be a male student down here. Who, ah, there he is. Do people ever think that they'd be happier if they could go back and live in the past? I've been wondering. I've only been listening to my radio, and it's like my heart just yearns for a return to those simpler times. Listening to the radio on a lazy summer day, just the two of us, without a care in the world. The radio I'm listening to hasn't changed at all. 
why is the rest of the world so different? To be honest, I have another favor to ask of you. Sure, what's up? I want to build another crystal radio, just like the one I had when I was a kid, but I can't find what I need. I used a mineral called Old Ore, but it seems to be quite rare now. Is there anything you could do about it? Sure, I can find you some. Thank you. I really can't order from anywhere, and I was at a complete loss. Sorry to ask so much of you, but I'm counting on you. Find rare minerals here. It must be like a paradise for the fish. So that's cool. So that's something that I just found out right now. Is that if you talk to the quest givers after they give you the quest, they tell you, they they give you hints to what enemy and where you can find it, which is cool. Hope that's all the quests that we have to accept uh, here in the school. Next, we'll head on out to the Sumagawa floodplains, actually, in order to accept one last quest before we uh, hang out with Nalto, uh, actually. Oh, th that was easy. Uh, I th thought I'd be able to understand everything at my age, but I guess not. No sorry. Even when you're this old, you're still finding out new things about yourself. I figured I'd gotten wiser since I was your age, but I've also held on to some stuff I should have let go a long time ago. There's a lot to be ashamed of in a long life, but it sure keeps things interesting. <laughs> you better just enjoy getting older, okay? Um, you know what? I'd like to ask something of ya. Well, uh, what's up? So, you have a minute then? I've got another request to ask of you. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'd like another lamp. Something simple but beautiful, but, but not too gaudy. That kind of lamp. I looked in some stores, but I ain't seen nothing yet. But, but you're something else. I think I could find something like that for me. So, what do you say? Sure. Thank you. I'm sorry to keep bothering you with these things. Oh, don't worry about it. I've had this one girl who's asked me, like, for some, for, for, to find an item for every single month. It's been a little annoying, kind of interesting, you know? Yasugami hi. Naoto, ready to hang out some? I know I am. Senpai? Um, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm free today. Actually, I have obtained information pertaining to the Phantom Thief. Yeah, I'll spend time in the afternoon yes. with Naoto. <laughs> Central Shopping District. Fog's still around here, okay. Came with Naoto to search for the Phantom Thief based on the information she gathered. I've learned that in recent days, a suspicious man has been spotted around the shopping district. He isn't a local, and his appearance doesn't mark him as a tourist or a shopper. I talked to the owner of Shiroku's store, and she said that she saw the man only a few hours ago. She confirmed it was the same man who bought the card. If that's true, he is likely looking for his next hiding place for one of the stolen items. We may be able to catch him in the act. Oh, I, I feel kind of sad. Huh? You, too. <laughs> the detective I dreamed of becoming as a child. I feel like that's what I am now. <laughs> if my deductions are correct, there are two things remaining that the Phantom Thief has stolen. And if so, I'm quite certain that he's going to hide that one. Perhaps he is... Anyway, where in this area could he hide something unnoticed? Oh, I have an idea. Well, let's go, senpai. Tatsuhime Shrine. Fog has enveloped the area. You're the 
man brandished a knife. What? So just a heads up, if you're pursuing an intimate relationship with Naoto, protect Naoto. Uh, this is going to be with the, uh, select this option is going to be one of the intimate flag options. Otherwise, you can select B or C. And we're, we're yeah, we're going to fight back. Wait! That knife is a toy. Don't hurt him, please. Dropped the knife and ran away. This knife, I knew it. It's another of the seven tools I made. This is a knife shaped radio. As I said, it's just a toy. I consider you a friend as well, so please don't do these rash things any longer. I apologize. Why are you apologizing? We've almost reached the end. Just a little more, and it'll be over. For some reason, the thought is not a cheering one. I've never had a case like this before. <laughs> it's not just grown deeper. Yeah, it certainly has. Go for the right percent as well. Oh! Oh! That could be good, but... No, I'm sorry, I don't care about Heath Riser particularly. I'm going home now. I have research to do. You needn't worry about the Phantom Thief case any longer. I'll explain later. Once everything calms down... Oh. I'll see you again. Uh, okay, but bye now, though. See, so yeah, if you wanted to pursue an intimate relationship with Naoto, you need to select A, uh, and then it gives you another dialogue option or to, which is protect her. Then you would get another dialogue option to continue to uh, protect her. But let's uh, let's head on upstairs and oh, who could that be? Hey, it's me, Yosuke. Wanna hang out tomorrow? Sorry, Yosuke. I got I got some other plans. Uh, Alright, see you some other time. We are going to go ahead and read some though. I have a book right now. Yep. Let's read. Yeah, let's read the outro way. Begin reading the Ocho Way. The various tea ceremonies from many regions are described here in great detail. Oh. I feel that you could teach anyone about performing tea ceremonies. Still some pages. We're halfway there, but uh we made some decent headway at least. Today's Labor Appreciation Day, so the day I'll Oh, that's nice. Wait and watch the situation unfold. Well, and we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here for today. Uh, as always, actually, ah, before we get to that, it's been pretty interesting. Well, with uh, Nanako being healthier now, I'm glad she woke up, but it's a little curious, disturbing, interesting that this fog is still around. I'm sure we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll figure out and get down to the bottom of it very soon, but uh, it's just very odd. Oh well, uh, until next time, uh, as always, thanks for tuning in, really appreciate it. Bye!